Yo yo, what's up? This is Dead to Rights for Mega Reviewing. Uh, the day's date is the 14th of the 12th, 2011. It is a Wednesday and it is 11.30 in the morning. Right, today we are going to be doing from the A to Z selection, which is actually the letter L. <coughs> Quite a few CDs today, so let's get through them. Anyway, so first of all, Lamb of God. It's actually not a bad album, not a bad CD. Not a bad artist, to be honest. Uh, the very heavy metal, I like it. It's pretty kick ass. Um, yeah, there we go. Anyway, next one. <laughs> uh, next one. Crikey. Next one. Um, this band is what you might call. Um, I don't know, kind of like a prehistoric dinosaurs of rock because they've been out for so long. Um, well, they were out for so long, I'm not too sure if they're still going. I mean, they still go into a certain kind of name, but uh, not the kind of name that you kind of like recognise them by. Because obviously, like, um, yeah, I don't think like any of the band members are together anymore. Uh, I know John Bonham's in Them Crooked Vultures. Um, I'm not too sure about the other two, what they're doing. No, anyway, uh, the band is Schled Zeppelin. Uh, Led Zeppelin, not Led Zeppelin, that'd be kind of weird. Kind of cool though, anyway. Um, I've got four of their CDs. Well, I think four. This one doesn't really count as a Led Zeppelin CD. It's more of like, what kind of like inspired them, kind of. Um, yeah. They're actually not a bad band, for the fact that they're quite old. <laughs> um, the whole point is, you've got quite a few songs from the band. And the whole point is, uh, yeah, they're not bad, they're not bad, but, yeah, you know, they're, they're kind of past it now, so I wouldn't really recommend them to, like, teenagers at the day. <laughs> right, next band. It's not really a band, it's just more like a compilation. It's the Legends of Rock! <laughs> this has literally got, like, loads of different bands on it. From the Blue Oyster Cult to Santana, Meat Loaf to Alice Cooper. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit random, but plus also it's from the news of the world. <laughs> it, it's, the whole point is, it's for literally those kind of people that want to say, um, yeah, I rock, I'm going to get this. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have their CDs, of like the actual bands are actually on the CD, then you're not really a rock person. Anyway, next. I heard this band from a uh, mate that used to work in Morrison. Um, they're actually not too bad. Um, some of their tunes you just think, right, okay, so what are you trying to say? And they're not really trying to say anything, they're just a band. Less than Jake. Um, this one uh, I got from a really bad kind of like CD kind of sound place. Um, the whole point is um, almost like straight after, like two weeks after I bought it, the place actually closed down. That says a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, next. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Right, okay, next is a band that I have liked since oh, I was like 18, maybe 16. Um, the whole point is, um, they're pretty kick ass. I mean, they've gone on from like quite a few, like, you know, things happening in the band. Linkin Park, it's like um, if you're a teenager and you like Blink 182 and 741, Linkin Park's pretty much like the transition on from those two bands because it's like um, they don't really swear. I mean, in the later albums, yeah, okay, they swear, but in the first albums, they don't swear at all, which is pretty kick ass considering they're a rock band. I mean, most rock bands do actually swear nowadays, so. Um, Linkin Park does actually like, um, they're actually pretty kick ass. I kind of like the fact that they had um, quite a few different like changes in the band and like um, their sound. Pretty much sounded the same, but then they changed like a bit, like after a while. Uh, next band, <laughs> this band, I'm not too sure where I heard them from, but they're kickers. Um, the whole point is, uh, you you don't understand the story of them until you've actually read inside and like um heard exactly what they where they came from. Um 
the whole point is, uh, this band was literally brought together because of this fact that the bloke, um, pretty sure it was like, like the main singer or the main drummer or whatever. No, wait! It was a bloke from Dream Theater. He literally got all together like this band of four people. And, um, yeah, they're pretty kick ass. Liquid Tension Experiment! It's, okay, the name of the band isn't exactly great, but it's just, they're kick ass. They really are. I mean, the fact that, like, um, they know how to play instruments and well kind of goes to say that they're pretty kick ass. Uh, last band of the L's. This band um, was around quite a while ago. Um, yeah, they really were around quite a while ago. And the whole point is. Um, I mean, back in 1999, it was their 20th kind of like anniversary collection CD. Um, yeah, so they were like around ages ago, way before I was born. Um, but I like their sound. I like the fact that they've got like a certain tune. I like the fact that it's like it's a bit like how um, Kings of Leon basically went. Oh, we've got this tune. We're going to stick with it for a while, and then you know, change it a little bit. It's kind of like what they did there. Then the Skinners. Yeah, this band, I don't know what it is with them. It's just like, um, there's something about the band that I just think, yeah, that's pretty kick out of like your tune or like the way that you've um, done certain things. They've, their tunes have been used in quite a few films. Um, yeah, it's pretty kick out. Anyway, so that was the L's from the A to Z. Uh, next, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's going to be a killer. Next is M, and uh, M has got a lot of bands, more than hell. So yeah, that should be fun. <laughs> anyway, that's been Dead to Rights. Catch you guys later. Keep it safe. Bye.